Hey everyone, I uh, apologize. There is no intro to this and um, really no exit <laughs> very much other than what I do right here. This is um, a very quick one. This is a video that I talked about in my last video that I posted um, that I was going to do the gold foil on and it didn't work. It didn't stick to it because I had, um, I, you know, I was trying to find paper towel and I, I don't know, I just kind of fiddled around a little too much. I did, I was not set up and ready. I don't, you know, I really should have had my act together a little bit better when I was doing this one. And so I, uh, the painting turned out one that I just loved. But the gold foil did not stick at all. So what I did was I just, I've cut out the beginning where I was telling you that I was going to be showing you how to put gold foil on. And then I cut out the end where it shows me putting the gold foil on and rubbing it off. And all of it just comes right off. So, um, so you just get this little short quickie painting in the middle. And... Um, I actually branched out today uh, with my brand. I decided to use my pinata inks today. I hadn't used them in quite a while. So I went with the um, pinata by Jacquard, the Sunbright Yellow, Calabaza Orange, and Chili Pepper um, for the red color, and my pinata brass, like always. Um, that's, that's the ones that I... That's the only three that I used on this painting. So I think I had mentioned on the other video, I had been thinking quite a bit about the Australian bushfires and and was just seeing the, uh, I don't know, just so much scenes of the fires and the aftermath. And, you know, I, I know there's been loss of life of people and just untold thousands and I don't even know, you know, millions of animals that um, are believed to have died in the fires already, and they're still going strong, and, you know, not, not really expected to have an end to them anytime too soon. And so that was on my mind, and that was one reason that I chose these colors. So as I said in my other video, you know, my thoughts and prayers are with all of you all in Australia. Um, even if you don't live in a fire zone, I know the entire country is affected by a, just a tragedy on this scale. And it's just heartbreaking to uh, to see. So, um, yeah, my prayers are with you all. And, uh, you know, really, really hope that all of you all are staying safe. And, uh, you know, that this is uh, coming to an end sooner than anyone expects it to. All right, so, um, yeah, I know y'all are probably tired of seeing me do these like this and would like to see me just do my regular wispy um, alcohol inks, but I'm really having fun with these. These are just fun for me, blending the colors together. Uh, you'll see my spots right there. I made a mistake that I know better than to do. I should not have put down so many drops of ink to start with. And now it's not the ink that was my big problem. It was the brass because I, I, you know, I put down the ink and then put down the brass and the brass had too much of a chance to sit there and sink. So that's where these circles came from. And I really had to do some working on those to get them to kind of disappear or fade into the picture a little bit get a little of the, um, the brass loosened up to where I could move it around and not have these little crop circles in my, uh, in my painting. Um, this one I did, you know, like I did the other one. I put down um, the chili pepper first and then went ahead and put down a little bit of the um, calabasa orange in with it and um, just kind of you know intersperse the orange a little because I wanted it to blend a little bit in there uh, 
just to give it some shading so that it wasn't just all one color there. You know, kind of wanted the orange shading in it. And then I'm getting ready to come back and put some more just the orange down above the chili pepper color. And, you know, we'll start working on that and kind of blending it into the red. <coughs> I was, I had actually, I mean, you'll see I used a couple of drops of the brass uh, on each spot of alcohol that I, I mean, of ink that I put down. So, I'm, I was a little surprised that this one dried as quickly as it did, especially with the pinata colors. I, when I've used the pinata colors before, they are pretty heavily pigmented and so I really was not expecting them to dry as quickly as they did especially with the metallic mixed in it that will uh, it does slow your drying down when you've got metallic in it the more that's in it the longer it's going to stay tacky so what I should have done was you know mixed I should have blended the metallic in more probably and put a little bit more of the brass in there with it and if you saw the other one that I did where I put the foil on uh, you'll you'll know I, I told you in there I actually went with the copper in it so that I could really work it into the ink better to to thicken the ink up because that that did help keep it from drying so quickly and since I was planning on putting the gold on top anyway I, I didn't really care if I had any of the brass in it and the copper won't float on the ink the way the brass does it just kind of sinks to the bottom of your ink and you can blend it in with it and you get a really nice shimmery sort of metallic color to your um to your ink um, but be careful because as you will see if it if you watched that video it does change the color y'all I am really sorry I did not notice I had no idea until just now that that was completely out of the frame so I'm really sorry hopefully I noticed that and do something about it um, I, I can't remember because I did this yesterday I can't even remember like when I moved the painting any um, well there you go I moved it a little bit so I was still just working on the orange uh, the Calabaza orange by pinata kind of blending that together a little bit with the red uh, getting some of those little white spots where I missed on the edges there before I go back and put in the yellow to kind of finish it off I uh, I did just kind of want that feeling of flames of you know the when you look at a fire you get some of that blending of all the different colors um, it's you know it's darker at the bottom and lightens as you come up but you still see a little bit of that intermixing so that's that's kind of what I was going for here in a in a loose quickly kind of way because I thought I was going to be able to uh, to get the gold on this and I was trying to get this one done quickly so the ink wouldn't dry so I just need to uh, make sure I have my ducks in a row if I do one like that again it's not something that I love having the foil on it like that but on some paintings you just need something else and, you know, it's something kind of fun to play around with every now and then. You just, I like to try new things and see what's going to happen. Because you just never know when you're going to come up with something you really love. Um, real quickly, I had a, a something I had been meaning to, to um, mention for a while. And I think I keep forgetting. Most of the time when you are doing alcohol ink paintings, unless you are doing one like this, less is more. If you want a, a wispy 
kind of painting that's the type that I uh, have been doing mostly in the past, um, and we'll do again, don't worry. Uh, if you want that kind of painting, you need to not go heavy on your ink. It, if you use too much ink, and especially if you're adding an, a metallic in with it, as you try and blow it back towards your center, you're going to get some thickness built up there. It's going to get kind of gummy and tacky just from having uh, too much ink and too much metallic in it. I had a really bad tendency when I first started out to put down several drops of a color, even if it was like, you know, pitch black or eggplant or something, one of the darker colors, rather than just doing a drop or two at a time, which is what I should have done, and maybe one drop of metallic, unless you're just trying for a different type of look where you need more of it down. Um, but if you're just starting out, I highly recommend that you just start out with one or two drops of ink and, you know, and, and if you want to add a drop of metallic, fine, and then your alcohol on top of it. But until you learn the control on the ink and some of the things that you might be able to do, if you have a little extra ink on there, um, yeah, I would, I would recommend going super light on the ink. And I still try not to get too much ink because I'm really not happy with paintings that I have just gotten too much on. And the darker the color, the less you need. If you're going with all, if you're using light colors, then sometimes you will need, you know, three, four, sometimes even five or six. Um, some of the super light colors like periwinkle. Um, da, da, da. I think aqua is another one of those. And uh, salmon is pretty light. But you don't usually need quite as much with the salmon. But I know that there's a few of them. I just can't think of them right now. But I have to, uh, I have to use more than a drop or two on those very light ones. But your darker colors, stream, uh, eggplant, amethyst, pitch black... Um, almost all of the pinata colors that I have ever tried, uh, they all, one, maybe two drops of alcohol. You really don't need more than that uh, in, in each little place if you're trying to go for a wispy look and, and really get things spread out. <clears throat> so, I... Um, just, you know, blending everything. I got done putting the yellow down, I think, here. And was just trying to go back and, and blend it in. And kind of make some longer... Um, I, I was trying to pull some of the color up more. So I could blow it back in longer, soft lines. That maybe looked a little bit more like flame. Um, I've only got a couple of minutes left here before this one is done, actually. And so, I wanted to say thank you all again for watching, for subscribing, you know, clicking likes. Oh, and before I forget, uh, thank you all so much. Those of you who left uh, my granddaughter Zoe, these wonderful, sweet comments that you did, you guys rock. You all made her day. Uh, every time she would see another thumbs up and, you know, see, the, you know, some really great comment from someone, she was just tickled to death. She was thrilled. So, I mean, she's already asking me when she can do her next video. So, so don't be surprised if you all see another uh, tutorial by Zoe on here one day. I'll, uh, I'll have to see what I can... Uh, can track down for her to paint for you all to do a little tutorial for you. She does like to paint on uh, Yupo or craft plastic or something with my ink some, but uh, I don't let her do it a lot because I just don't think she needs to be around the alcohol fumes. But also, she does not like the wispy style, so hers is uh, quite a bit different than mine, but I may let her. Um, show you all what she can do one day just for the just for the fun of it 
So, um, once again, thank you. Thank you for watching and subscribing. You know, if you like what you see, subscribe, hang in there with me. And uh, this one's getting ready to come to a really abrupt end here, folks. It's just got a few seconds left. So, I will be back just as soon as I can with another tutorial for you all, hopefully within the next week or so. I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.